Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Hunt the Guitar Podcast. Today I'm showing you the Electroman 2 by Solid Gold FX. Uh, this thing is technically a digital delay, but it has all the warmth and darkness and murkiness and all the other adjectives you'd associate with an analog style delay. Uh, it's got a great set of controls with a lot of little extras and uh, it's going to take a bunch of time to cover it all, so let's get into it. Here's my dry signal from my Airline 59 2PT Telecaster style bridge pickup and a humbucker in the neck position. And here is the Electroman 2. Let's get into the controls. We'll start left to right at the top. First of all, you have a level control. Turn that all the way up to max out the, uh, the wet signal here. And of course you could turn it all the way off, but then why do you even have this pedal? We'll leave it there for our purposes for the time being. Then you have a repeats control. Turn it all the way up for some uh, self oscillation nonsense. <laughs> Turn it all the way down for a single repeat. There's a color control, which is basically a tone control for the repeats. Turn it to the left to get darker. as dark as it gets and it's dark enough in my opinion it's actually not crystal clear all the way bright you still get quite a bit of that analog style sound <laughs> The flutter knob controls the depth of a modulation. It gets pretty wacky if you turn it all the way up. There's a switch down here that controls the speed of the modulation. Middle is the slow setting. Left is faster. And right is the fastest. It's pretty wacky turned all the way up, but if you bring down the flutter knob, you can get a lot more uh, conservative, a lot more uh, useful in a traditional sense, is how I'd phrase it. Beautiful. 
And then of course, the time control. This controls the length of your repeat. It maxes out at a full second, which is plenty of time. I mean, how many seconds are in a song anyways? goes all the way down to 70 milliseconds. That metal drum sort of a quick delay there. I bet we can get a pretty good slapback echo out of this though. Let's check it out. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, instant rockabilly kit right there. Let's get into this bank of switches right here. We already covered the speed knob for the uh, the flutter control. There's a mode switch, and it changes it from your standard repeat, repeat, repeat sort of delay to a delay where you get re repeat, 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 repeat. Like the, uh, the first repeat is on your normal time control, and then all the repeats after that are like double time. It's, it's a bunch of fun. Bring it all the way up to get the full effect. That setting for chording and more rhythmic stuff it gives you one single strong repeat and then blows the rest out into this kind of ambient wash that sounds really nice. Of course, uh, you can find any creative way that tickles your fancy to use it. The next switch is for the warp control. Warp control uh, bypasses the repeats knob, maxes it out, and uh, gives you a little bit of control over how quickly that self oscillation starts. The middle position on the warp switch is the slowest self oscillation setting. is great for uh, you just want a little bit of extra ambience every now and then. You want to hold a note out indefinitely, it'll do it for you. You put it to the left setting for a more intense warp. <laughs> you hear that uh, it builds up quicker and gets louder. It starts to push into clipping. Let's check out what the right setting does. That's the most intense warp setting. <laughs> the volume of, this, of the oscillation just completely takes over your signal. It pushes fully into clipping. Uh, if you want to end a set in a dramatic way, that's the setting for you, I'll tell you that. Uh, we already covered the speed switch there, and then last but not least is the tails control. This allows you to have the tails either be on or off when you turn the pedal on or off. So here it is with the tails off. <laughs> totally off. So you see the, uh, <laughs> the delay tails keep going even after the pedal is off with that control to the right. 
I said last but not least with the tails control, but actually there's one more thing to cover with this pedal. There is an effects loop right here on the side, which allows you to put any other pedal or effect, whatever you've got that can take a quarter inch plugs into the effects loop of this pedal, allowing you to affect just the wet signal of the delay, which can be a ton of fun. And I'm gonna show you some, uh, some fun things I like to do with that right now. I've got a cable right here that splits a TRS plug into an in and out plug, and that's gonna get it done for us. Here we go. So first off, I've got an electroharmonics pitchfork in the effects loop on a high and low octave blended setting. gives you a lot of very pretty options to mess around with. I'm going to try turning it down to a fifth now. If the color knob just isn't enough tone control, uh, you can plug something like this DOD seven band equalizer into the effects loop and just take full control of the entire signal. Here it is with a pretty drastic high pass filter. Here's a completely ridiculous uh, mid hump. And a deep V mid scoop. Something I really like to do with pedals that have effects loops is throw a tremolo in there. I've got the uh, the flower pedals dandelion tremolo hooked up right now. And what happens when you do this is that the trim is only on the wet signal of the delay. Your dry signal passes through unaffected. <laughs> Such a fun thing to do. Next up, I've got a Boss FRV-1, which is a surfy, springy, outboard style reverb sort of sound. It's only gonna splash on the delay trails. This should be really interesting. Let's try it with the mode in the other setting. Pretty fun stuff. Let's get weird with one more effect and you can use your imagination to figure out what anything else would sound like. I think I'm gonna put a fuzz in there. Here it is with the solid gold effect 76 fuzz. <laughs> It's so weird, it just might work. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments if you feel like it. Click the links down below, check everything out, uh, and enjoy this you know, awful and worthless little noodling thing I'm gonna do as the outro. Later, guys. Mm -hmm.